Good day everyone, welcome to Studio 39 Design Studio. This is Richman speaking, your resident architect. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a rich capping on your roof and how to also uh, add sort of like a crown all around your roof as a feature. But before I continue, I'd like to encourage you guys to like, comment and subscribe to this channel because I do videos like this every week. Now let's get into it. As you can see, this project that I'm using is the project that we have been using for our previous videos where I did a 3D floor plan where I also did a zoning tool for uh, sort of like um, this information that I put on each and every room which depicts the floor finish, floor level and the area of each room. Now with that said, as I said, I'm going to be showing you guys how to put a rich capping and a roof deco but as you can see we don't have a roof currently uh, so I'm going to be doing that first with that said if you want to see how uh, I'm actually doing this type of uh, roof which is a hip roof you can see my previous video or just click the icon on the top right hand corner uh, to see the previous video where I showed you guys how to create this type of roof in Archicad so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the ground floor plan and then I'm going to click the roof tool and then I'm going to open the settings dialog box. Just press Ctrl T. Uh, the level is currently set to the desired level and instead of using the composite uh, structure, I'm going to be using the basic structure and I want it to be about 200 thick. And also I have uh, the, the degrees or the angle of the roof has already been preset to 28 degrees and I'm not going to be using a single plane because I'm doing a hip roof so I'm going to be using multiple planes I'm also going to be using a uh, vertical angle uh, for the roof edge uh, another thing that I've already pre is preset here is 200 you can use whatever you want so this is basically the overhang which is identifies as the offset here on Archicad other things you'd want to look into is your um, cut line pen so how what's the pen weight you want your cap your, your your line to be and um, also the uncut line weight uh, I've already these are already preset as part of my um, line line pen weights and uh, the cut fill also and also the cover fill has already been preset to roof tile uh, roof tile one so everything is fine over there so now what I'm going to be doing obviously uh, while it's selected I'm going to be clicking from this point to that point and when I go to 3D, this is what you get. But uh, the kitchen area and the veranda area have not been covered properly. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be clicking once again. And where I have preset my um, the wall plate is I'm going to be clicking at that node right there. And then I'm going to be adding to polyline. So I'm going to click from that corner to that corner, which then extends the roof. I do the same thing on the other side from that corner to that corner adding to the overall polyline and then I go, go to 3d that's what I get uh, other things that I just want to do right now is I I actually want to override the surface uh, surface override so I'm going to be uh, overriding all this information and for this one I'm just going to be using the the French red basically I, um, I usually use the the Roman tile but uh, obviously we don't have the Roman tile here and I just want to make the uh, fascia uh, to be a uh, stucco white rough and then the, the underside I'm just gonna leave it as it is right now uh, that's what I get now the other thing that I want to do while we're here is I want to create sort of like a crown all the way around sort of like a, a, a deco element all around this roof so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going to the profile manager under the profile manager I'm going to click on new 
and then I'm going to call this the roof crown. I'm going to press OK. Uh, it opens up the, the workspace where I can then create this crown. And then I'm going to be using the fill tool. And then uh, other thing that you need to understand also is that you can also uh, select building material you want to be using. So for this one, I'm just going to be using a, a brick. So this is going to be a brick. And um, the, the brick size, basically the brick height is usually uh, 75 millimeters. And then the, the sort of like the width of it would be 50 so i want it to protrude by 50 millimeters and uh, that's what i get <clears throat> uh, so other things that i want to do is i just want to sort of like do this so this is my uh my decorative element and then what i want to do is i want to make sure that i can use it either on a wall element or I can use it on a beam element uh, not the column or the railing or the library part and then I can just say save and then close that and then I can just go to the ground floor plan right here and what I want to do is I'm going to be using the beam element now in order to sort of like select uh, from the uh, profile manager whatever profile that I've created what we want to do is we want under structure we want to use the profile manager so we have custom but we've already preset this so this is going to be the roof crown which i'm going to be using so i select my beam tool uh, i've already selected the, the 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 roof crown and then i can just go ahead and uh, select the height so i'm going to control t to open the settings dialog the height from the ground floor plan is going to be 2.6 meters uh, to uh, 2600 millimeters and then I can just start from this corner right here and uh, you can use whatever uh, method you want single or you can use um, uh, a chain or you can use uh, the rectangular format I'm just going to be using a chain at this point in time and as you can see right now it, it, it's working out perfectly so what i'm going to do i'm just i'm, I'm just going to go ahead and draw all the way around right here so from that point to that point there you go and the reason why i'm using the beam is because i don't want the to use the wall the wall tool for this because it might clash with the with the wall because it's right up against the wall so that's just a, a smart thing to do when you're doing something like this. And there you go. Uh, another thing that I'm realizing, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm out G sort of like, because they are grouped because I used a chain a drawing method. So I want to also set the, uh, the, the line weights because right now I can't really see it. So that's a, that's a problem for me. So I'll go to flop flow plan and section and then i can then say the cut pen is going to be about that and the the overhang is going to be that and then the uh, refer reference uh, line uh, can be something thicker and there you go that's what you get so we go to 3d there it is right there if you want to extend it while it's here you can just select it go to your uh, profile manager go to your crown you'll see what I'm trying to do right here so a roof crown and then we can just edit so I want it to be a bit longer to the downside so I'm just gonna extend it like that and like that I think I'm happy with that and then when I close uh, it's a bit fuller I like that um, I'm happy with that so what I can do right here is I can overwrite the surface finish so I'm gonna overwrite that to a I can go ahead and make this sort of like a lighter uh, wall finish and then uh, I'm gonna click all the all the walls and then uh, set them up to be this 
yellow orchard and also the floor slab to a different color all around so I'm going to be using uh, the paint sand right right there something like that but uh, I think the walls are a bit too overwhelming right there uh, so I'm going to be using gold for this one just for the contrast so I'm quite happy with that now um, now that I've done that what I will not what I will now do is I will add the rich capping so uh, the rich capping we're going to be using the uh, the objects tool and then uh, you can either add a, a a roof feature layer okay or you can just use the, the roof uh, layer for this one and then we go to the uh, settings dialog for control T for this one you have to understand it's not under furniture so all of these elements are under furniture over here so I close that up and I go to um, special construction under special construction you go to accessory elements and then you you find your rich tile over there and then you say okay uh, another thing that I want you to guys to also understand is that you can also pick the node that you want your element to be controlled from uh, so I'm just going to be using the center node at the bottom right there and then I go to my ground floor blend but then again this is a roof element so I'm going to be drawing from the first floor level and I just want to plug it on there and then I'm going to control E to rotate this element and then I can just extend it to over there uh, other thing that uh, I want to mention to you guys is let's just go to 3d right now it's showing on the ground floor plan uh, so you can just control T because we're drawing it on the first floor plan uh, then you can just sh change that from minus uh, 2.6 meters to 0 which is better so this node I want it to be at the point of the ridge uh, another thing that I want to mention to you guys this 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 areas areas right here that's the ridge that's the ridge that's the horizontal ridge this is the inclined ridge and then this area right here from that point to that point that would be the valley we do not put a, this is why this is called a ridge capping because we put it only on the ridge and not on the valley and I can just click that node right there because the the incline here is wrong because when I say 28 because our roof angle is 28 if we say incline it's supposed to be go exactly to that point right there but obviously we don't get that so I can then manipulate this node in height and bring it down to there um, another thing that I want to be doing here is uh, then push pull this a bit more and I just want to make sure this aligns perfectly Yeah, I'm happy with that. So now, while I'm on the floor layout, which is the probably the roof plan at this point, is um, I can just mirror it from there, and then I can mirror this too, and then uh, Control D to drag them across to that point right there, and uh, that's what you get. So I want to add the in this this area and that area right there. So I can take one of this, Control D to drag a copy, Control Shift D I mean to drag a copy and then I can just drag that node right there to this point and then I can go to the 3D as you can see um, I can just take that node to connect to that point right there. <clears throat> same thing here is uh, because I have this I can just control shift M to mirror a copy uh, and then I can just control shift M also control shift M to mirror a copy and I'm going to be doing the same thing on that side putting it over there so all the inclined reaches uh, are covered 
so now i want to do the horizontal reach so what i can do is i can just uh, click um, control shift d and then i just want this to be sort of like drag a copy in uh, in elevation so i'm gonna hold down shift so that it remembers that i'm trying to go up and then i can just click on that point right there and then uh well the other thing is um i need to move this point so i'm just gonna go ahead what i'm going to do right now is under the incline i'm going to make it zero so that it's flat and then uh, i can always rotate it in 3d Control d to drag a copy and then i can dra drag that node to manipulate right there right that works for me and uh, i can always mirror this because i know for a fact this is asymmetrical the only problem is the the length here so i just have to extend it just a little bit uh, same thing uh, I can do right here is I can drag this in 3D, drag a copy, that's Control Shift D, uh, Control E to rotate, so I can just rotate it like that. This is what I like about ArchiCAD, you can always design in 3D and manipulate things in 3D because this is a designer's tool. And then I just... Uh, uh, click that node right there and that's what i get that's how you do the ridge capping and the roof uh, deco or crown element so right now the only thing i can uh, do go so what i just want to do is uh in the meantime i'm just going to create some um uh, some uh, decorative elements around the windows All right, guys, that uh, that's it from me. I uh, just wanted to add that uh, decorative elements on the windows and doors. Uh, just thought something that I can just do quickly while I'm recording this video. So that's it from me, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys. Uh, see you on the next video. Love you guys. God bless you and goodbye. I'm sorry.